What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one here to remind you that abundance is your birthright. Okay, you are not put here to suffer, baby. Mm -mm. That ain't it. Go ahead and just put away these cards. Or not put away, sorry, shuffle these cards. <laughs> Go ahead and shuffle, shuffle. I hope you're doing really well today. I hope that you you get a lot of time to yourself. Honor yourself, celebrate yourself. Oh, if you have emailed me, um, you either should have gotten a response by now. So please check your email. If you are waiting on an email from me, if you have emailed me within the past three days, then you expect an email from me today. Um, this week, I just got really caught up with other readings and stuff. And I always do everything by cue. So whoever contacts me first is um, who I will write back first and, you know, rightfully so, okay? All right. Spirit, what do you have for Pisces today? Whatever message comes out, whatever message comes out, three of pentacles, three of pentacles. Can I get three more cards, please, Spirit? Three more cards. I got one more card. Eight of cups. Oh. I got some cards in the deck that are like not reverse, but um, flipped. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever comes out, spirit. Thank you so much, ancestors, guides, angels, for looking out for Pisces. Okay, giving them the message that they need. That didn't come out first. This came out first. Okay. Oh, that came out with this. It did, so let me put it down here. Okay. Got it, got it. Got it, got it. You know what? I'll just pull, go ahead and pull two more cards. Thank you, Spirit. This is really good. This is great. Damn. Wonderful. All right, let's go. Let's go. Woo, let's go. Okay, so first card out is the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Hold on. Here we go. Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. This is definitely talking about you going after your abundance. If there's a work opportunity, if you have to move in order to do that, if whatever it is, go for it. If you, if it's filling out applications, but you need to look, this tells a story. This three of pentacles, you see this, this person, this person that's working with this, these other people, notice what they're having to deal with. All these people telling them what to do. And it's just a struggle. This could even be family. I don't know. And then you got the Eight of Cups. This is you walking away. You know what you're walking away for? That Eight of Cups, this cup that this person is going is going after for in this? Here it is. You know it's there for you. You were, the last, there was, listen here, the last reading, you need to go see that. That was about taking a chance on yourself, knowing that now is the time that you've been waiting and prepping for the right time because you knew the right opportunity was going to find you. You knew you were called. You knew you were blessed. Well, that time is coming. This is confirming that. It's time to walk away. It's time to take a chance on yourself because you're going to have, you're going to get this. And right after this king, not king, this ace of cups, boom, king of pentacles, dominating what, what it is that you want. You are going from being this person, look at this person chiseling away. And you got these two motherfuckers saying, are you sure you're doing it right? And then it's micro, micromanaging. Why is that coming to mind? People that would micromanage you and like not give you credit where it's due and like you're the one doing all the work. I don't know. Like you would, if you're doing all the work, you should also be part of the leadership, right? No, that wasn't the situation. So your feedback wasn't as, wasn't seen as well. Mm, mm. And you're dominating that. Look at you leveling the fuck up. This is either a sign that you need to do this. And confirmation that you, yes, you will have your fucking glow up that you know you are owed. Okay. 
um, or you are currently doing this or about to. Um, cause then in the next one, in the next, in the next row, this is advice about this then, cause we have the page of wands. It's just like watching energy, someone watching some, someone kind of, you know, look at that face. I don't know. I don't like it. Eight of swords, eight of pentacles, a lot of eights, right? And then the, the page of swords. So we're beginning with the page and we're ending with the page. I think you're seeing now with this eight, as far as it being time to go, this is for someone that it's time to go. It's time to go. You're not doing this yet. In fact, you might be hesitant because this is advice. This wouldn't be advice someone that's already in the process of doing this would need to take. You know that you could do this. You see this person holding the staff with the red coat? Okay. Next, look. See what I mean? So this is you, but you're seeing some things. You're noticing things about yourself. There's opportunities out there. This eight of this eight of pentacles is right right after it. So there's things out there that you're not seeing. There's opportunities. There's groundwork. There's connections you've already made that you might not be seeing. Okay. Think of even your college professors or, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> there's networks you're connected to, your alumni network, your unions, okay, HR, okay, like I don't know. There's there's connections there. There's opportunities. There's groundwork laid. There's relationships and networks that you have already created. You are overlooking this. This is something you don't see. I think you might be seeing it kind of now. Okay, this is advice to do that. Now that you've seen it because you're on your way out and stuff, take note of this. You know, don't keep your mind closed to resources that are around you. And obviously you wouldn't do this on purpose. Come on, people don't do that. But I'm just saying, take some due diligence to look into resources. I'm hearing grants. I'm hearing scholarships. I'm hearing situations where you might need to go and put in some extra effort, baby. You need to go look and see if you're eligible for certain, you know, that fill out the applications, do all the things. If you're trying to start a business, for example, you know, all that stuff, look into it. There might be things that make you qualify for lower interest rates and all that. I just look into it because there's resources here that you are overlooking that would really help you towards working towards this, towards this uh, going from this three of pentacles, jumping through to the king of pentacles. And then, and then at the end of this with the page, because this is a message, this is a message, okay? Remember, pages are messengers. So it began with this. You saw the Eight of Swords, and then you saw the Eight of Pentacles. There's the Page of Swords. It's telling you, go, you need to unbind yourself. You need to, you know, take action on this. This is pure advice to take action. Crossing this energy is the judgment card. This is a wake-up call to someone. It is time to go. They don't appreciate you and you know it you know that you have so much experience so much knowledge your skill set is impeccable your work ethic that these people don't deserve you okay they don't deserve us pisces <laughs> they don't deserve us okay and you know it you know it so this is your confirmation to do that follow your heart go after your fulfillment i mean this is the moon right here and we are the moon card in tarot for me, that's significant as your reader saying Pisces needs to follow their, their purpose, their path, you know, instead of sitting here and people are telling them what to do, how to work, how to do things, how to live. Girl, <laughs> I could never. <laughs> and neither could you. Because you know why? Like I said at the beginning, abundance is your birthright. You know that this is, you don't settle. Whoever I'm talking to, you're done with settling. You've, you're done with settling and you've even settled for the sake of love before. No, we're not even doing that. What? That's wild. What a concept. What a concept. Take suffering out of your expectations in every single situation. Don't settle because that's what's going to let you settle is being okay with just a little bit of suffering. It's just 1%. You know, I usually get 80%. No, not zero tolerance zone. 
Zero tolerance zone. That's for somebody. Okay. Let's see what else is here in this situation. So you need to leave. Look into the resources around you. You're doing great. If you're if you're doing this right now, you get this is confirmation. What you're doing is correct. Nine of Wands. Why are you in this energy? Come on. You knew that you, this ending had to happen. You knew it had to happen. You thought it was gonna be easy. Eesh. Okay, well, all right. Let me get let me get three more cards, please. There we go. There we, oh, let's go. Okay. 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 All right. So what came out is the nine of wands. Nines are significant for endings, but something that you ended yourself, you initiated. So an action that you made created this ending. And then you have the queen of swords. Remember the sword energy, that's you. That's action that you need to take place in. So stay firm in this ending, okay? No matter how rough it looks like, okay? This king of wands. I don't know if this is going to be an old boss. Um, this is going to be an old boss, a father figure, mentor. I don't know. This is someone significant in your life that you need to sever ties. You need to walk away from or be okay with the way they scrutinize you for it. There's someone that is not doesn't want you to do this, thinks that it's not a good idea, um, doesn't support you in this, and they're in your life. I don't know if you know this about them. I feel like you do, and you know why? Because it's a king. This is flamboyant energy. This isn't sitting in the closet or talking amongst uh, family and friends quietly in conversations and you don't hear. No, this is someone that tells you, that has told you what you should do and should be doing, how you should live your life. Okay. And this is all about this coin. This is all about the this opportunity that you're going after. All about the coin that the king of, of pentacles is, is holding. Listen, there's a lot going on here between right now. Um, between right now and because it's tourist season, right? Yeah. Between right now and August, because of the eights. Okay, or it could be within, no, I don't see eight months. Nope, it's even when I was saying, that's how I know. Nope, it's not eight months. It would be something like eight weeks. Oh, shit, isn't it fucking? No, no, in eight weeks, it's not It's not um, August yet. It's July. But still, <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a lot of eights here. Okay, and then we got the, like, okay, so now let me put it together for you. So you initiated this ending. It's going to look a little bit rough. You got this, okay? You know why? Because you need to stand in your strength. You will be victorious in this, okay? You're not going to be in this. That's what, that's what this is might be what's keeping you from this journey is knowing that it's not going to be easy. Knowing that, man, but I worked there for so long. I gave them so many of my years. Could even be a relationship. I don't think it is, but... This, I gave this, you know, whatever the situation was, you put in a lot of time and effort. You really did think you were going to advance a lot quicker than you did or that they were going to recognize your work a lot more than they did, acknowledge you more. It didn't happen. And you're having to walk away from this and say, well, I'm not putting up another fucking stick. I'm not putting up with this one more day. Okay. And then because you're stopping the cycle before it gets to a 10. This is you stopping it. You will be victorious in this. This is your truth. This is your path. This is what you are guided to do. Please stand firm in it. Again, this is that motherfucker that I told you is not in your corner. That is just like, mm. and look, look what the energy that it matches with. Mirai, so look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh there we go. Uh-huh. Who's the oppressor? Mm, mm. Who be the oppressed? I'm just saying. <laughs> And this has everything to do with your coin. It has everything to do with your fucking coin. We ain't doing it. Listen, you are so protected. You are so divinely protected to get a message like this. Follow the advice, please. This is the struggle. This is confirming for me that as far as blockages for what you're trying to do and want to do here and go after, this is the struggle. Yeah, it has everything to do with the hesitation here to leave. Or the person, the blockage. There's a blockage here. 
You got this though. You're gonna go after that coin. Is there any final messages when it comes? Oh, <laughs> better do this shit fast, baby. <laughs> That's a chariot. That is fast moving energy. This is a yes, by the way. Major Arcana in general are they're all yes cards, right? So they're as far as confirmations, um, or even yes or no questions. This after this message confirms for me that my message is very accurate for someone listening. You needed to hear this because you're not paying attention to some signs or you think you could work through it. You can't. It's not going to work out. You know what you need to do. Do it. You know what you need to do is confirmation. Confirmation. Can I get one more card? Could also happen. Cancer season. Cancer season right around the corner. Doesn't it start June 21st on the summer solstice? Yeah. Cancer season starts on the summer solstice. So it might even like you got a deadline of some sort, baby. You really do. I'm going to say that right now. If you have not done this, you have a deadline. By August, the latest, you are you know, your world is going to push this stuff, purge it from you. If you don't leave this job, something's going to happen that you are going to quit suddenly or they're shifting in such a way that you have to leave, you need to resign, or they simply lay you off for whatever stupid reason. So the world's going to, not the world, the, the universe is going to end this for you. You already know you have to do this. And there's so much blessing and prosperity in this. But if you want to take it the hard way, I mean, <laughs> you're on. Mm. <laughs> I don't think you do. That's why you're listening to this message. You're not meant to do that. You're not born here to suffer. Why would you sign up for that and self-sabotage something? Stop it, girl. Or boy. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. This is the new cycle right here. This that new cycle right here. That ten. This is all hearth and home. This is all hearth and home. This is prosperity right there. So you need to go fat you need to go after this, okay? King of Swords. Okay. One more card. Ooh! Okay. I can't make this shit up. Remember how I told you there was a wake-up call earlier because it crossed the energy, the judgment card crossed some energy here? Okay. So the truth, this came out. I was like, what's the truth? In my head, I'm like, what is the truth? The truth is that this really is a wake-up call for you. Or you're going to get, you about to get woke the fuck up. Okay? There's too much prepared and planned for you. There's too much that you manifested. There's too much that you asked for. There is too much that your ancestors are waiting for you to accomplish because it's all been set up for you. They have set it up for you. They went out of their way. Your angels, whoever it is that you believe in, that you have faith in, that you know guides you and guides that light inside of you, that energy has gone out of its way to orchestrate in a divine path for you. And this is very clear here. Okay, whatever this situation is, because it does seem like a work situation or something like that, could even be roommates. But it's something where you're leaving a power dynamic where you're doing most of the work and you're not appreciated there. Your skills, your purpose is being undervalued, taken for granted, or simply just squandered and that's not no you're not doing it anymore you clearly don't want that for you anymore you know that's not meant for you crossing all this energy with this with the this this row is the five of cups this is a warning you do not want to do this do not overstay your welcome for once in your life leave when you need to stop waiting for someone to tell you to leave this is the last four cards So this is cancer energy. This is, but this is, you need to do this immediately. So this is you going after. And if you go out, I mean, this is what you're going towards. You are going to get this. This is your truth. Stand firm in it. The queen of swords came out too. Remember, that's what's your guiding light is standing in your truth. Continue to remember that you were not born to suffer, that, that you are, you have a better life coming to you. Continue to manifest that, not just wish it, not just hope for it, not just have a gut feeling. Call on that gut feeling. Pull back your power. Pull your power in, you know? And then the judgment card, that, and that's that's a wake-up call. This is bringing you back from the dead. 
you got this. You really got this. You are on the right path. Okay. If you need a personal reading, go ahead and oh, again, it's just just to bring in those last. I mean, this five of five of cups is really telling of of you don't want to do this. <laughs> You don't want to not go after your truth and your path and your desires. You are worthy of the life that you have always envisioned for yourself. That's not just a vision and a dream. That's attainable. That's your literally your spirit showing you, guiding you to what is owed to you. That's not just some random thoughts and fantasies in your head. Okay. And as far as social media, I'm hearing like, you know, that's, you can't compare yourself to that. Or no, that's not what I'm hearing. That's not what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing about social media for someone is that you, and not just social and like video games too, YouTube, stop watching other people live the life you want to live. It's kind of like watching gamers on YouTube, which by the way, I do. And I love to do. This is not a criticism. This is an example that I'm just using. Could have been anything. Um, to only watch gamers on YouTube, but not game yourself. And, it, and not because you can't, but because you just, you, you're, you're more consumed with watching other people. You're watching other people live your life, live what you should be doing, which is gaming. If that's what you want to do, you don't have to just watch someone else live that. And it's the same thing even with Instagram and stuff. If you watch so much cooking and you never cook, baby, why don't you try cooking? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying you really, you should do that for yourself. You can. That's what this message is. It's not exclusive to other people. You, what if you want to do tarot? You don't only watch me. Go get a deck. Go get a deck. Cleanse your house. Get your cleansing tools. Get it all together. Prepare. Prepare. Start doing readings for yourself. Start doing readings for friends and family and you know, you could, ju you could, you really can do it yourself. So that's for someone, but you got to take this chance. You, you have some kind of talent, skill, higher education, higher certification, higher training, something. Maybe the journey is going after that. Do it. Okay. If you need a personal reading, my email is in the bio. Again, if you have written me in the past three days, I am slowly getting, slowly but surely getting to you guys had a lot of readings earlier in the week that I needed to, to just make sure that I stayed on top of and stuff. And there's a lot of energy that goes into this. And I thank you for being so patient with me and for under being so understanding of that. Honestly, y'all are just phenomenal. Uh, you really are. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to always read for you. It is a true pleasure. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. English is my third language. Sometimes I miss some, some syllables there. All right, y'all have a great day.